Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do compound assignment with augmented division. This is very similar to the last few episodes. Um, this is actually something I've never used in practice, uh, but the division operator divides a variable by another variable. I think that this is cool because they're giving you the muscle memory of this. You know, you can say whatever my var was, you're going to divide that by five. So say it was 10. Uh, if my var was 10 before we're reassigning it here, it would be uh, equal to two now. So the results, this would end up being two. So it'll divide my var by five, and this can be re rewritten this way. Uh, so what we're, they're trying to ask us to do is just convert these uh, assignment operators again. Um, so 48, uh, very, we're, we're assigning the variable a to 48, and then we're going to come down here and say 48 divided by 12. 24, 48. So that's 4. So we want this to uh, render out to 4. If we were to console log out a right now, we should have 4 down here. Okay, great. So 48 divided by 12 is equal to 48. Let's do b. 108 divided by 4. I'm not even uh, capable of doing that in my head, so we're just gonna let the computer do it, but we'll just do it the same way. We're gonna take out all this stuff and then set the uh, compound assignment with an augmented division of four. And so 104 divided by four? Let's see, 108 divided by, wow, hmm. 33, this one's gonna turn out to be three. Uh, oh, I see what's happening. I haven't reassigned it right now. I'm logging out A, so Let's see, I'm gonna take this all back. So uh, yeah, uh, 108 divided by four is equal to, uh, well, first off we've done this, now the computer knows what B is, but we don't. So we have to come down and console log out B. So what was four is now uh, going to be 27. So 27 times four is, uh, 27 times four is 108. And we're gonna do the same thing down here. But we know 33 uh, divided by 11 is quite easily three. And so we're just going to be looking down here. You see we're still console logging out B. So now we're going to console log out C and we should get 11. Oh, three, sorry, my bad. So yeah, we can get rid of this console log. It's not actually part of the test. We run the tests and they pass. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and we'll see you in the next lesson.